Hi, my name is Hugo and I'm a senior card artist for video games. I've been in the industry for close to 13 years and for the past few years I've been using Unreal Engine as my main tool for rendering. Being a game artist, it felt important to me to use the same techniques and tools that I used in production and in doing so trying to push the quality of my work ever higher. In this tutorial, we'll start from the basic, then slowly ramp up to more complicated topics, and finally create a render of our character. First, we'll set up our basic Unreal scene using already existing presets. We'll import our model and check if the scale and the gray base is fine. Then, we will build our first light setup. Far from being a final work, this will be a simple three-point light setup that will help us have a correct look and feel for our character. This is very important because it will help us look at the texturing and the shader that we will work afterward, but bear in mind that will not be the final one. We will go back to lighting after everything is set up so we can have the proper light that we want in our scene. Once this is done, I will run you through my steps for material creation. We will start with a very basic material that will help us see what we've done inside of Substance Painter into Unreal with the correct lighting. This will help us find any issues there might be in our textures before going into the nitty gritty of material. It is a crucial step as it will streamline most of the back and forth we might have between Substance Painter and Unreal. Early texturing is difficult to judge solely with Substance, so getting fast into Unreal to have a better look will speed up your workflow and might prevent you from issues you might encounter at a later stage. After we've set up everything and it looks kinda good, we'll begin the work into more complex shaders like skin, tiling materials for clothing, Fresnel, and some custom material I've created during my last project, Shiva. In doing so, you'll see the process that goes through my head when I'm making the shaders and maybe help you guys find ideas that you would like to do for your own shaders or anything you would like to create. The good thing with Unreal is that anything is possible as long as you have the idea and the understanding of the material creation process. I've also started using strand-based hair lately on my work, and while it is far from the most optimized technique, it is one that bears like incredible visual results. I will run you guys through how to set it up in Maya and export it for Unreal, set up it in Unreal, and leverage some of the information we can get with MetaHumans regarding like the the hair shader in order to have a good looking character. MetaHuman also have a very good eye shader and it will speed up our process to use it. Unreal Eye Material is very complicated to reproduce and this one is free for us to use. We'll start by getting the eye geometry from MetaHuman Mesh, set it up on our character and then plug the eye shader into it. We'll take a look at the parameter available to us in order to match the vision we have for our character. Finally, we will revise our lighting to find the mood we're looking for and set up our cameras. It's very important because the camera will dictate how the render will be. We'll go into the post-process settings to the final bits of detail and finish with the rendering.
During this course, I really hope you will get a good sense of Unreal Engine and how to propel your character from the texturing phase into the final renders. See you there.